I'm sure that every one of us can think of an event, uh, an occasion in our lifetime that had a great impact, almost a transforming impact upon our lives. Now, for, for those that aren't Christians and those that don't use the Bible as their guide in life, many people will look at events, maybe significant times in their life, and they will sort of attribute these things to chance and to coincidence. Well, Christians see things differently because the Bible teaches us differently. And the Bible reminds us that everything which comes to pass, it comes to pass because God has decreed and designed and purposed all things. He is the great potter and we are the clay. And that means that when we look at events, um, events that matter, significant moments in life, they're not mistakes. And God doesn't make any mistake. One of the momentous events and great occasions we read of in the Bible is the conversion of the Apostle Paul. Uh, the, the influence and the impact of Paul upon the church and all of Christian history is something which is, is impossible to try to put into words. But I believe there was uh, another event in Paul's life that was uh, equally as significant for him, apart from his conversion to Christ. And we read of it at the end of Acts chapter 7, when Paul, who then is known as Saul, uh, Saul of Tarsus, it, it's when he witnesses the martyrdom of Stephen. Uh, what a moving, what a compelling passage of Scripture. There is Stephen, that faithful man of God. There is Stephen, who is faithfully bringing the Word of God to the men who are hearing him, and he's giving a defense of the Gospel. And we know what happens with Stephen. He's stoned to death. Uh, he dies as a martyr of the Lord Jesus Christ. But it's there at the end of Acts chapter 7 that we find that the clothes of the witnesses, they were placed at the feet of this young man that was called Saul. Saul of Tarsus, who became the Apostle Paul. That moment wasn't the moment in which he was saved. In fact, afterwards, he, he was consenting to Stephen's death. He goes even further. He, he creates havoc in the Christian church. When he looks back in his own testimonies, he speaks of this. He never mentions the impact that Stephen's death and Stephen's martyrdom had on him. But I believe we have to remind ourselves it must have had a tremendous impact. Something that God used to maybe possibly stir his thoughts, awaken him, challenge him and make him think. What was this message that Stephen was preaching? Who, who was this Christ or this Jesus of Nazareth that was being mentioned by this individual? Surely these were questions that Paul began to ask before the Lord began to work in his life. And I believe that there in Paul's timeline was an event, an occasion, a moment that truly mattered to him. And then in God's own perfect time, he was stopped, wasn't he? Uh, on the way to further sin, he was on that road and he was gloriously saved by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. You see, events and moments and occasions, they matter. And as we look ahead to our week of meetings coming up very soon here in uh, this church building in Grace Free Presbyterian Church, uh, we're going to think about questions that matter. And these meetings begin uh, Sunday, October the 22nd. Uh, the first one being, does God exist? And then running through the week, Monday to Friday, 8 p.m., again, in the church here, and all of the important questions of life. You're all most welcome to join with us, and uh, we hope to see you along. If you can't make these meetings, uh, then do pray for them, that God would speak to many souls in these days.